everyone, I'm Visual Magi, and today you're going to get this creepy hand with blend file and all. Enjoy. Alright, so here we are. So first off, I want to give credit to um, the creator of the hand. That is um, Art of Gomez. If you guys want the original, I'll link the link in the bio. Uh, link below <laughs> in the bio. Uh, but I, I'll link it below and so you guys can have it too. But I did uh, remesh it and remodel it for use in Blender. All right, go right into Blender. All right, so here we are. Here's the Blend file. Um, again, link is in the description. Um, yeah, so again, here, I, I hopefully it works anyway. I did uh, link it all and animate it for you. Um, Again, you have the, the hand model. Um, you have my startup file as well, without ever, anything. And you have the hand model if you want to do it on your own. Then you have this blend file as well. So right away, um, I have it picked up pretty much for Instagram, 1080 by 1350. Um, I think for this purpose, by 1920. So if you're using my file, if you go alt backslash, you can control the camera and just center it. Alt backslash again and I'll turn it off. All right. So if we look at it here. Have it loaded. So right now this is an Eevee. Cool. Um, we'll turn on the cycle just to show you what it looks like. Not much different. A little bit more lights, um, kind of subsurface stuff going on. So yeah, not much different. Keep it in Eevee. And now I'll show you what I do with the um, camera. So what I'll do is I'll highlight this. I just a hand actually highlight. And go shift S and go cursor to select it. Right to there. And now what I'll do is shift A and I'll add a curve, a circle. Now, I use a circle, uh, any Bezier curve you can use to control your camera. So, I like to use a circle. So you can go follow path. So, I scale it. Let's go 10 for now. And right, now, with our camera, we will put everything to zero. And then we're going to use the um, constraints. Follow path and just on there. Go to busy. So it kind of brings it back. Now the the circle controls. The camera. So move the circle and camera. Scale the circle. It will scale. Move the camera back. All right. So what you want to do is in your constraints, you want to have Attract to. So this is gonna. So I'll show you without it. So if I do the offset, it's gonna go around, but it won't follow the center. When I put the sphere on, it centers it. And now when I go around, it centers the the sphere. And do some animation to that. All right, there's uh, different ways to set up your cameras. So this is one of the ways I, I like to do it. Um, so the best thing to do is um, have your markers. I mean, you can pick a track, pick a song you want to go to, and you just really just animate the scale and then the offset. And that, actually, the rotation too, because you can do 
some of this. If you go down to the X, it kind of goes low and above, low angles. We can start with that. So, just so it loops, we'll go there. Go so maybe negative. That on. Go to 60, go to. Go down and go back to actually, so let's go 20 here and then back to negative 20. That way it loops. So loop around. So if you notice that snap kind of motion, negative twenty. So what happens is, um, if you go to your interpolation mode, linear, now it shouldn't snap. Oops. Oh, you know why? It's snapping because, it looks like it's snapping, but your hand isn't animated. Go into pose mode. So it's animated one way, but not the loop way, so. Oh. So you press A, go to your zero. Scale. Scale it down. There. If you press Control Spacebar, it opens up the whole thing. You just want this half. Copy. Shift. Um, forward arrow and paste. Actually, <laughs> let's go duplicate and just for Shift D and it'll go right to there. Shift Spacebar again. Go back to our original. All right now it should work okay Our camera. Oh, it's because the sphere's moving. Go to the sphere. Delete its point. Okay. Now it should be seamless. There we go. All right. So that's a quick tutorial. Um, enjoy the asset. Again, you can do so many things with it. Make it to like graveyard or whatever you want to do. All right, hope this uh, will be one of many tutorials coming soon. Uh, so yes, see you in the next video. Take care.